हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट व्हाट आर हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स एंड हाउ यू कैन डेवलप अ प्लांट्स रेजिस्टेंस टू द हर्बिसाइड्स तो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स सो एज द नेम इंडिकेटिंग सो दीज आर दो प्लांट्स विच आर रजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट द हर्बिसाइड्स सो नाउ इट शुड बी क्लियर टू अस दैट व्हाट आर हर्बिसाइड्स सो weeds weeds are unwanted and the useless plant that grow along with our crop and these weeds or these unwanted plant they just take the nutrients which are required by the crop so ultimately they compete for the nutrient and light and other factors with the crop so due to these weeds our crop gets very low nutrition and that's why there is a damage to crop will be there so in order to avoid that damage or in order to protect our crop from these unwanted plants which are called as weeds we make the use of certain chemicals and these chemicals are called as herbicides so herbicides are simply those chemicals that kill the unwanted and useless plants or which are also called as weeds so the herbicides are the chemical that kill the weeds and as we use these herbicides so they kill the weeds and weeds are also the plants these are unwanted and useless plant but also the plant so the main limitation of these herbicide uses is that these herbicide they cannot differentiate between the weed and your crop plant means they can kill your crop plant also if they can kill the unwanted plants or if they can kill the weeds so they can also kill your crop plants so how we can protect our crop plant in order to you can say in order to get the more from these herbicides so there are certain ways and one of them is that we can made our plant resistance against these herbicides means these herbicide will not able to kill our crop plant they will only kill the weeds or unwanted plants and for this or in order to make the plant herbicide resistance so we transfer certain foreign genes inside our plants and these genes they give some specific property to the plant so that they become resistant against the action of these herbicides the process by which we transfer these genes to the plant that is known as transgenesis and the plant formed after the transfer of these genes these are known as transgenic plant so if you want to know about the complete process of transgenic plant like how they can be developed their various application so you can see my other video the link will be in the description but in this video i am just only stick to the herbicide resistance plants now what are the strategies that can be adopted for making herbicide resistance plant so the strategy can be like first one is over expression of target protein so here the target protein is that protein on which herbicide will act and this protein is present in both in unwanted plants and in your crop also so how we can make our crop resistance that if we increase the level of production of this target protein then if herbicide inhibit some of protein in our crop that effect will be you can say insignificant or negligible so simply we just increase the copies of our target protein so that after inhibited by the herbicide we have sufficient molecules or sufficient copies of protein that our crop can still grow while the weed the unwanted plant they have limited copies of their target protein so they will be killed by the herbicide so this is the basic strategy that just increase the copies number of the target protein in your crop plant by transferring the genes of that specific target proteins and how we can increase the uh, copy number so we can increase the copy number by transferring the multiple copies of genes or by using the strong 
promoter so that our gene will be transcribed strongly second strategy that mutation of target protein so in this strategy what we do that we just mutate the target protein again repeating target protein is that protein on which herbicide will act so if we use or if we transfer a gene that will make a mutated target protein in our crop but that mutated target protein should be able to carry out the normal function in our crop in that case now our crop will get mutated protein that is functioning functioning normally but herbicide will not be able to inhibit that mutated target protein because now the some structure of this target protein has been changed it is now mutated so it will not be recognized by the herbicide but as i am saying this mutated protein still work normally for our crop so this is the second strategy that we can transfer the genes that will make the mutated copy of target protein in our crop and this pro mutated protein will function normally but it will not be inhibited by the herbicide so you can say we just made our plant herbicide resistance the next strategy that is improved plant detoxification so what is this plant detoxification so as pathogens they attack the plant so they have their own natural defense mechanism to fight against these pathogens and they simply detoxify the toxins released by these pathogens so in case of herbicides plants do have their detoxification mechanism and this detoxification it involves the conversion of this toxic herbicide to non toxic or somewhat less toxic compound so the strategy is very much clear that if we transfer the genes that will increase the plant detoxification system so definitely we will also increase the detoxification of herbicide so ultimately the effect of herbicide can be reduced in our crop so this is the one of the strategy that we can improve the plant detoxification system by introducing the genes and next strategy that is detoxification of herbicide by using foreign genes so this is simple that we can transfer a gene that ultimately make a protein that will inhibit the herbicide or kill or detoxify the herbicide here the word detoxification will be used because herbicide is a chemical it's a non living thing so we can use the word detoxification here so if we use a foreign gene that ultimately detoxify the herbicide so we can directly transfer this gene into our crop plant now our crop has the detoxification gene so herbicide will not be able to cause any harm to our crop because it will be detoxify in our crop but weeds or unwanted plant they do not have that detoxification gene so they will be killed by that herbicide but our crop will remain protected so these are some strategies which can be adopted to make herbicide resistance plant that either you can modify or mutate your target protein you can increase the production of target protein you can improve the plant detoxification mechanism or you can directly transfer gene that will detoxify the herbicide now here let's take an example that how we can employ all of these strategy which i just discussed earlier in the previous slide by taking the example of glyphosate resistance plant means how we can make glyphosate resistance plant so here the glyphosate it is an herbicide this is a chemical glyphosate is a chemical that act as herbicide and it kill the weeds or unwanted plants so it is a broad spectrum herbicide and it is most commonly used also so if we want to use this glyphosate in our crop so how we can make our crop or plant resistance against this glyphosate so for this we have to understand the mechanism of action of this glyphosate that how it kill the weeds so this glyphosate it is a competitive inhibitor of a very important enzyme that is 5 enoyl pyruvate sikimate 3 phosphate synthetase that is ep sp s this enzyme is a important or you can say a key enzyme in the sikimic acid pathway that ultimately result in the formation of aromatic amino acids like tryptophan phenylalanine and 
tyrosine so as you can see these two are the substrates sikimate and phosphonyl pyruvate so this will ultimately this enzyme that is epsps it is a in key enzyme involved in the formation of this enol pyruvyl sikimate 3 phosphate from the sikimate and phosphonyl pyruvate and ultimately now this enol pyruvyl sikimate 3 phosphate will be converted into aromatic amino acid that is tryptophan tyrosine and phenylalanine so this is the normal process which go inside the plant but this glyphosate so as i told it is a competitive inhibitor of this enzyme that is epsp s you know il pyruvyl sikimate 3 phosphate synthetase so it will ultimately inhibit this enzyme so as this enzyme is now inhibited so there will be no formation of aromatic amino acids and these aromatic amino acids are very much important for the plant cells so as they will not be there so plant cell will not be able to carry out its protein synthesis and it will die so this is the mechanism that how glyphosate kills the unwanted plant now what are the strategies we can adopt for producing the glyphosate resistance plant so first strategies so first was over production of target protein so here we can over produce the target enzyme so target enzyme is epsps so if we increase the copies of this epsps enzyme so we will have enough enzyme that after attacking by the glyphosate we still have enough enzyme to carry out the normal functioning so in the first strategy we just over express the gene of this epsps in our plant so this gene was generally taken from the petunia so as we isolated the gene from petunia and now introduce into our plant so by doing this we can increase the production level of this epsps enzyme in our transgenic plant and which will ultimately give resistance to the glyphosate so these plant they can tolerate glyphosate at a dose of 2 to 4 times higher than they require to kill the wild type plants the second strategy as that of use of mutant target protein so here we can use a gene that will ultimately make the target enzyme in the mutated form but functioning normally so here we can use the gene of mutated epsps that is enzyme which is a target of this glyphosate so as the gene that can be detected that was detected in the bacteria that is salmonella typhi murium so this gene was isolated and it it was transferred to the plants to make them glyphosate resistance so as the mutant eps gene was introduced into the tobacco plant the process was done by using the agrobacterium ti plasmid vector so this transgene it produce high quantity of enzyme epsps but that was in the mutated form so now the glyphosate is not able to inhibit this mutated epsps enzyme but this enzyme is working normally so in this way we just made our plant resistance against this glyphosate the third strategy is the detoxification of glyphosate so uh, similarly we can increase the detoxification of this glyphosate and for this the some microorganism they has enzyme that is glyphosate oxidase this enzyme converts glyphosate to glyoxylate and amino methyl phosphonic acid so it just you can say neutralized or detoxify this glyphosate so what we did we just isolate the gene for this glyphosate oxidase enzyme and introduce into our plant so generally we take the gene from the soil organism that is ochrobacterium anthropi and with the suitable modification we introduce this gene into our plants and ultimately our plant is now become resistance against the glyphosate so this is all about the herbicide resistance plant that how you can develop herbicide resistance plant and i just took an one example of herbicide that is glyphosate herbicide similar strategy can be applied to other herbicides basic strategy will remain same that either you have to use the target you have to use the mutated target 
protein gene or you have to increase the production level of target protein and so on so these are the basic strategy which can be applied to other herbicides also this is all about the herbicides and how we can develop the herbicide resistance plant by the transgenesis so this is all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much